Welcome back, everybody. If you have previously watched my other videos uh, on this Rubik's Cube tutorial, you will have followed me and will have solved the uh, first layer of the Rubik's Cube if you followed all of my steps correctly. With that, I uh, give you a belated congratulations and now uh, offer you to uh, basically follow me once again to solve the second layer of the Rubik's Cube. Now, um, this, this step will only focus on the four edge pieces that are on the second layer. Uh, the other pieces on the second layer are the centers, and the centers cannot be moved. So we'll just focus on the four edges. So this step is, is, is uh, it's fairly short. So the first, step, the first thing that you want to do is you want to flip the Rubik's Cube uh, so that the yellow center is on top and the white uh, and the first layer is on the bottom. Um, because you'll, you'll more, you'll, um, in this step you'll be more wor uh, working with the top layer and the second layer then you'll be working with the bottom layer. Just forget about the bottom layer now. You, you, you finished it so now you don't need to worry about it anymore. Okay, now the first step to do when solving the second layer is to look for any edge pieces that are on the top layer that do not have any yellow on them or any color that is on the top layer. Uh, like, for example, if you were solving it with green on top, you would want to look for any, um, any, uh, any edge pieces that didn't have green on it. Uh, but in this case, it's yellow. The yellow's on top. So don't look, so look for any edge pieces that do not have any yellow on them. Uh, these two are good examples because neither of them have yellow on it. So, we'll start with, uh, this edge piece right here. The blue and red edge piece. Now the first thing that you want to do is you want to look at the color that's facing you. Not the color on top, but the color that's facing you and match it up with its proper center. Uh, once again, the, this center will be, match, will be uh, in the correct place. This center will be surrounding the yellow center somewhere. Uh, it's here. It's here, right here. And um, for, the rest of the set, for the rest of the edge pieces, this will coincide with, uh, with uh, the same process. So... After you uh, now, after you figured out which color this one is, match it up with its proper center. And now we come to the next part of the process, in which you will encounter the uh, probably the longest algorithms that you will encounter in this in the uh, tutorial for solving a Rubik's cube. And these are these are fairly simple. All you have to do is make sure that you. Uh, you again write them down, memorize them, uh, commit them to muscle memory. Once you do, it's not hard. So after, so there are two algorithms, and like before with the four move algorithms, they're mirror images of each other, depending on where this edge piece is going to go. Now, what that depends on is what color the uh, the color the sticker on top of the edge piece is. For example, it's blue. And uh, looking on the right and the left faces of the Rubik's Cube, you'll notice that um, only one of these two colors, centers, will match this one. If it is the right, then you would perform the right-sided algorithm for the second layer. If it is on the left, which it is, you would perform the left-side algorithm for the second layer. In this case, we're going to perform the left side uh, algorithm for the second layer because blue matches up with blue, and blue is on the left side of this center here. So the algorithm is U prime L prime U L U F U prime F prime. And with that, the edge piece has been put into the correct position because it matches up with the blue and red centers. And that is basically one quarter of the second layer solved. Okay, if you find a case in which um, the uh, in which the, uh, the, uh, the edge is in the correct position but it's oriented wrong because orange does not match up with green and green does not match up with orange, you're going to have to uh, bring this out you're going to have to bring the edge back up to the top face again um, without disturbing the rest of the first layer. Now the way to do that is simply to uh, perform the algorithm uh, once, uh, once again. Perform the algorithm twice in cases like these because you're going to have to perform it once to bring it back without disturbing the first layer and one to put it back in its correct position. So what you would do um, you would put it on the right side of you because the right side is easiest to uh, remember. 
So after you do that, uh, perform the right side algorithm for the second layer instead of the left side. So that algorithm, and it, again, it is a mirror image of the left side algorithm, that algorithm is u r u prime r prime u prime f prime u f. And now the corner, uh, the edge, excuse me, is on the top layer and you can fix it by putting it back in its correct position. And the way to do that, again, look at the corner, uh, the color facing you on the edge, match it up with its center, look at the top color that is on the edge piece at the same time, look at the left and right uh, centers, determine which color this, cent this edge belongs to. In this case, it belongs to the right. So perform the right side algorithm this time instead of the left side because it's going on the right instead of the left. And again, and again, this algorithm is u, r, u prime, r prime, u prime, f prime, u, f. And now the corner of the edge is solved. Next, look again at the top layer for um, edges that are in the correct spots. That I mean, that don't have any yellow on them. Here's one right here, the orange and blue edge piece. Again, look at the color that's facing you and match it up with its proper center. The color facing you is blue. So look for the blue center, which is here, and match up blue with blue. Now again, looking at the right and left sides, determine which color on top matches the proper center. In this case, again, it's the left side. Uh, so perform the algorithm again. U prime, L prime, U, L, U, F, U prime, F prime. And that is matched up correctly. And now this is the last one because I already had one solved. Um, again, same process. Look at which color is facing you. Find the center, which is here. And match it up just like that. Um, and now perform the algorithm again, which coincides with uh, with which side is with, with which side this color belongs to. It belongs to the left side. So perform the left side algorithm again. And there you go. The second layer is now solved. Now two thirds of the cube have been solved in one step. Good job.